Hey, welcome along. I mentioned this with the vaccine victim Anthony Shingler on, uh, I think it was Monday's show, yesterday's show, uh, but I don't want to underplay it. Ladies and gentlemen, head for the hills. The COVID is back in a devastating new variant targeting Britain's favorite telly presenters like uh, Jeremy Vine. Sore throat, headache, <coughs> cough, aches and pains, and a Joy Division t-shirt. So I'm in bed with it, with it, with COVID. Previously, years gone by, I would have come into work with this. You can walk, you can work. But obviously, that's not possible now. Going by our show, out of the presenters, 100% of our presenters have got it. That means, don't mean a storm. That means there must be a lot of it about. Why isn't the government mentioning it? Why isn't the government saying anyone vulnerable, you know, Stay indoors. Look at my te That's a big red line. Uh, is there a BAFTA award for worst acting performance? That was uh, super darling, but can we just have another take? Uh, just a little more croak and uh, try to work on your uh, pillow munching. Uh, this is Jeremy Vine. I was supposed to be doing a voiceover today for Curly Whirly. But I may have to postpone it for a day or two. I bought an apricot flapjack at the tube station and I thought I'd got one of the crunchy bits stuck at the back of my throat. But it turned out to be the deadly new COVID strain, the Omicroak variant, like a bat out of Wuhan. Why isn't the government talking about this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, no, I'm coming down with it. I'm all getting all quick. quick pass, pass me the ginger growler. Oh, thank God for that. So, so bring back the masks and the social distancing. Jeremy Vine is croaking. Not, you know, seriously croaking. He's just a bit croaky. The economy, and he wants the government to be talking about his croak. The economist totaled. The supply chain wrecked. Entire industries that require anything more than literally dialing it in with pillow munching selfies are gone forever. The National Health Service has been reduced to the world's most expensive Zoom call. Every baggage handler at Heathrow has been stricken with sudden early retirement syndrome. We have the worst inflation since the 70s. Granny dying alone, unsurrounded by tiresome loved ones. A generation of children so psychologically damaged that there'll be suicidal depressives or uh, asbos on steroids in a decade. Mysterious increase in stillbirths in Scotland and Ontario. Collapsed birth rates in Germany and Norway. Perfectly healthy teenagers dying in their sleep. Athletes in the peak of condition dropping dead on the pitch. Justin Bieber with a semi-paralyzed face. So he can't go Biebering around to all his believers. We have half a million of Jeremy Vine's fellow citizens reporting adverse vaccine reactions, thousands dead of Guillain-Barré syndrome and other once rare diseases, and it's still not enough for the psychos of the group Think Media. There's still maybe 4% of normal life that isn't totally screwed. But maybe one more lockdown will do the trick. Jeremy Vine's triple jab, maybe more, and he's munching the pillow all night long. Maybe the government isn't talking about it because they know all the measures that you pom-pom girls of the propaganda media pranced about supporting up to the hilt have all utterly failed. I'm not sure... Mr. Vine has ever talked about the hundreds of thousands, maybe more, of hitherto healthy, young and middle-aged Britons now unable to work or to drive, having to sell homes to pay their medical bills. It's not as pressing as a touch of the croaks to him. Why isn't the government talking about me being croaky? Meanwhile, in totally unrelated news, do you know the Canadian comedian Nick Nemeroff? Here he is in hospital. I will not get the third shot. I will not. Pfizer me once, no shame. Pfizer me twice, shame on COVID. Pfizer me three times, 
Shame on you. You want me to get a third shot? What's next? A fifth shot? No, thank you. Nick Nemiroff, uh, under the weather in Montreal. Uh, we'd ask him on the show, but he's dead. 32 years old. Cause of death unknown. He croaked big time. Not like Jeremy Vine's crappy croak. Uh, there's a lot of that about, and we'll talk about it later. Plus a few other things the government isn't talking about. The near total failure of British policing. The psychologically unhealthy habit of importing people who hate your society and its entire cultural inheritance. The terms of reference for the COVID inquiry and lots more. GB News is the people's channel, so we like to hear what you think. You can email me, gbviews at gbnews.uk, or tweet me at gbnews. All that headed your way.